Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling is in the Roll. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to look at what's new in Zim version Zim02. Now, let's go to the Zim site now, zimjs.com, and up here, oh, all sorts of exciting things up here, but <laughs> we're going to the global manager. <laughs> all right, so hitting the global manager. Um, all of these uh, things that we're looking at, the carousel can also be found under the news, and you press on any of these banners, and we're looking at the global manager right here. So the global manager, aha, all right. Well, this is a, a guide and a grid that we've got going on here, as well as a layout class and pages, being able to swipe to, to pages. So in the past, as we change the size of the page here, so let's do that. As we change the size of the page, we're getting some action. The grid is uh, rescaling. We're, um, this is all fitting. When we swipe, it still swipes. Uh, the cached uh, swiping page is the right size. Uh, the layout is is working as we as we squeeze. So uh, all that, all those things would need to be added to a manager. And we were happy that we had a manager. At least we didn't have to resize the pages, resize the layout, resize the grid, resize the guide, all inside of a resize event uh, for the frame. So we were happy that we made a manager. Hey, just add all those things to a manager and say manager.resize. And then we got thinking, well... Hmm. what if we just, as soon as you make a guide, what if we made a, a global manager and add the guide to the global manager in behind the scenes so you don't have to think about it? <laughs> that was even easier. <laughs> so <laughs> five years later, six years later, however long it's been with the, the manager, we're kind of going, uh, maybe we could do that for you. So uh, let's take a look at the code that does that. Pop by <laughs> Let's look at the lack of the code that does that. Because now we're popping in and we've got some pages that we're making. So here's some, some things that we did to make the pages. I don't know. Oh, we had two pages and we did basically the same thing in each page. Great. We've added some labels and a footer and we've then add it to a layout. So there we've got a layout. Wow of uh, these different parts. Here we've got pages. Pages would normally need to be added to a manager, a resize manager. Um, there we've got a grid and a guide. And nowhere do we have a manager. So in the past, we would have made a manager. It's not the end of the world. In the past, we would have made a manager. We would have added the pages, the layouts, the grids, and the guides. So those are all the things to the manager. Uh, this used to be different managers for each of those. Those still all work. <laughs> then we realized, well, those managers are all kind of doing the same thing, if resizing. So let's just make a general manager. And those could all be added to the general manager. That made it easier. And then in the resize of the frame, we resize. Well, instead of you having to remember that, now we just do it automatically. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there's an automatic manager for that. You don't have to think about it. Um, after years of experience with people putting together layout classes, hundreds and if not thousands of people putting layouts before my very eyes, everybody would always not think of putting it in a manager. Well, now they don't have to. <laughs> there we go. You've all been vindicated. We should have made a manager in the beginning. <laughs> So, I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. And you're welcome to join us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack, and let us know how things are going, what you're making, you know, what do you think of all this, and ask any questions. We'd love to have you there for questions. And uh, check out our other bubblings on what's new in Zim version Zim02. Uh, or even the 200 other bubbling videos about what's been new in the various versions of Zim. Cheers. Ciao.